Would you invest a few hours per week if it meant that you could make thousands of dollars in passive income just by publishing books on Audible? And the best part is you don't have to write or narrate them. If your answer is yes, you're in the right place. And in just a moment, I'm gonna take you through this process step-by-step step exactly how you can do it too. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with Audible and you've probably even downloaded a couple books off it in the past. But what you might not know is that there is a platform called acx.com and this is what we use as self-publishers to publish our audiobook and have it show up on audible where we can make royalties on every sale as you can see with these graphs the audiobook market is growing extremely fast and more and more people are listening to their books rather than reading them so this is creating a massive opportunity because the audiobook market is very underdeveloped there is plenty of self-publishers who make six and even seven figures per year just by publishing audiobooks on Audible. And this is something that you can do too. Step one in this process is gonna be selecting a topic. So a topic is just what the book is going to be on. Now, usually what I advise people to get into is something they have a bit of experience in or that they're interested in. So this is gonna allow them to make sure that the book is high quality and that people wanna listen to it. However, if you're brand new to publishing audiobooks, I would encourage you to start off with something simple and low cost, maybe even something that we can use ChatGPT to create. So I'll show you a few examples of this. Now, when I think of books that are easy to create for audio, I'm always going to be thinking about things like language books because, you know, they have things like phrases and idioms or children's books, trivia, riddles, joke books, a lot of things that would be really easy to generate with ChatGPT. And I mean, of course, you want to put your own spin on it, but they create really good audiobooks and they're simple to put together. So this book here is the 2000 most common German words and phrases. So this would be extremely easy to create. It's just basically a list. And if you look at the BSR down below, which is the best seller ranking, we're looking at around seven sales a day and 44 to about $70 in royalties per day. So completely passive. The tool that I use for this is called Bookbeam. I think it's the only one that can actually pull up the numbers on audiobooks. There is other alternatives when it just comes to uh, the regular books on Amazon, but uh, I really like it. So so here's another great example, positive affirmations for black kids. These affirmation books, what I love about them is that they're basically just repeating the same line 10, 15, 20 times. So you don't need that long of a book and you can easily get these affirmations off of something like ChatGPT and just change them around a little bit to make them unique. And then the narrator just saying the same thing over and over again. And this allows you to have quite a long audiobook. And the reason that we want an audiobook that's a bit longer, ideally over three hours, is because that's kind of the sweet spot where we start to earn more royalties. Because on Audible, the price of your book is dictated on the length of it. So the sweet spot is always going to be about three hours. And usually for a traditional book, we're looking at about 10,000 words per hour of narrated content. You're able to do this with probably a thousand words or less, whereas it would take 30 or 35,000 if it was just a traditional book. And a lot of people like these affirmations books. And the last example I'll give you here is bedtime meditation stories for kids. So you can see this is a collection of short stories and then also affirmations just to help your child fall asleep. Again, very easy to put something like this together for free. And you can see down below here with Bookbeam, bestseller rank 11,480. It's getting about nine sales a day and it's roughly around $50 per day. Completely passive, amazing. So now that we found our book topic, we're gonna jump into the next section, which is gonna be actually creating the book. And we're gonna start on ChatGPT. Okay, so all I did was log in and then I told ChatGPT, I need help creating a book title for a kid's affirmation book. And they've given me some great title ideas here to go with. So the next thing I did was I asked ChatGPT to create me a book outline for that affirmations title that it came up with. So Bright and Brave Affirmations for Young Hearts. You can see here, they've broken it all down by chapter and have given suggestions for each. 
So now what I've done is I've asked ChatGPT to give me affirmations for each chapter for the book. And that's exactly what I got. Now, obviously you wanna go through these and look them over and make sure they fit your book. It's, you know, AI isn't perfect yet, but for the most part, these are pretty good. And essentially all you're gonna have your narrator do when we get to that is repeat each affirmation with a pause and maybe a bit of music in the background, 10, 15, 20 times, depending on the book. And this is how you're gonna end up having an audiobook that's over three hours and can bring in a lot of money. Alternatively, if you just wanna outsource your book to a ghostwriter or you think that it's a bit too complex to use AI, you can do what I've done for years and use the Urban Writers. They have tons of ghostwriters there and lots of people that will specialize on your topic regardless of what it is. So all you have to do here is create an account and you can post a project. And if you use the discount code TREVOR5, you'll get 5% off your order. The next step in the process is gonna be creating your book cover. Now, you could create this with something like Canva for free, but I highly recommend against this because for an extra 10, 15, maybe $20, you can get a professionally designed book cover on a website like Fiverr. And despite the old saying, people do judge books on their covers and almost completely judged on that because until you purchase it, it's one of the few things you can go off to decide if it's high quality or not. So we're on Fiverr now and all I've done is put in book cover in the search bar and you can see it's brought up dozens if not hundreds of different designers here and there's a lot of nice book covers although I do have some recommendations on people that I've used in the past down in my description ultimately all you want to do is hop on here and see if any of these samples that they put up appeal to you or that their style kind of works with what you're hoping for your book you can reach out to these people and order a gig it's usually going to be pretty cheap less than twenty dollars and usually within two or three days max you're going to have a book cover back and they will adjust it until you're happy. We have our topic, we have our book, and we have our cover. So the next thing we need to do is upload our book onto a website called Amazon KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing. It's a requirement of Amazon for us to at least have our ebook on Amazon KDP before we can hire a narrator and publish on Audible. But don't worry, this process is super simple and I'm gonna walk you through it right now. You can put in kdp.amazon.com or you can just search Kindle Direct Publishing. All you're gonna do is show up on the website, hit join. You're gonna fill out your basic information, your name and your email. Once you've created your account, you can go inside and you just click create new. And this is gonna bring you to this page here. And all we need is the ebook. So all we're gonna do is put in the book's details. And it's pretty straightforward once you've done this a couple times. Uh, we have the book name from ChatGPT. We're gonna just paste it in here. Go down, edition, you can ignore that. The author name, this can be anything you want. Description, all you really have to do is go to ChatGPT and say, hey, can you give me a few paragraph description about the book that we just created together? And they'll give you something and you'll be able to just paste it in here. It's very simple. I own the rights, no. You can put in the age range, but it doesn't really matter. As the book sells, they will, there will be a suggested age range just by the buyers as well. Primary marketplace is amazon.com. And then for the category section, you can do a bit of research into this and see what other books are using, but you know, just going off of intuition here, I'm probably gonna go self-help, self-esteem, maybe stress management, inner child. So you can add three different categories. And then at the bottom here, these are keywords that you're gonna put in that are kind of just common sense things that people would be searching. You can go to Amazon and put in affirmations in this case and see what suggested terms come up. But a lot of it's just gonna be really common phrases that you would think of. So affirmations for kids. Just stuff like this. So you're gonna fill out seven of them. It's not a perfect science, but it's just to give your book more exposure in Amazon's search engine. So I'm ready to release my book now. Save and continue. So now all we have to do is upload our manuscript, upload the cover that we had done. You're gonna say here, if you used AI and it was a significant part of the book, then you'll say yes. If you didn't, or it wasn't a big part of it, like maybe you just had your book outline created with it, and we'll say no. Then we can launch the preview to make sure everything looks good. Go down to save and continue. And then on the last page here, all you have to do is adjust the pricing. Now we're focusing on the audio version in this video, so we're not so worried about the ebook. So you 
you can put it wherever you want, but in this case, I just put 4.99, but it could be more, it could be less. We're not super worried about the ebook in this video. So go down, hit publish your Kindle ebook. The last step in this process is going to be getting your audiobook narrated and then live on Audible. So all we have to do is take the same information we created to log into Amazon KDP and go to acx.com and log in and hit claim title. So from there, essentially all we're going to do is put in some copyright information and a few details on the kind of narrator we're looking for. And we will have people applying in probably the first hour that our book is up for audition. So I'll walk you through that real quickly. Here we are, acx.com and I'm going to log in. So I've clicked claim title. And now all you're going to do is put in your book's title and hit search and it should come up below. And that's where you can click. This is my my book and it will start the process. Now you want to say you're looking for someone to narrate your book and then that's going to bring you to the agreement here. So copyright information, you're just going to put in your the pen name that you decided on earlier. It could have been your name or anything else. In this case, uh, we're going nonfiction and ours is going to be a children's audiobook. So yes, I would like to receive auditions for my project to find a narrator. And then gender, it's totally up to you. Do you want a male or a female voice? You know, do you want it neutral? What language do you want? In most cases, unless this is a language book like we talked about, you're probably just gonna want an English narrator. And I wouldn't really specify the accent. I would just leave this open to as many options as possible. And down below, you just, for the audition script, all you're doing is giving them either the full book or just a chapter. And you're gonna get all these audio samples of people that uh, are reading it out loud. And then they've uploaded that for you to go through and find the perfect narrator for your book. So after you've done that, hit continue. And then we can go here and we just put in all the chapter names of the book or we can import from Kindle, save and continue. And here it's asking us how many words our book is. So it's gonna determine the length roughly. So yeah, I said 10,000 and they say around 9,300 words per finished hour of audio, but it really depends how quick your narrator is. So I'll put in 30,000 territory rights, world. And then in this case, we want to do exclusive distribution through Audible because it's going to get us the highest royalty. Whereas if it was non-exclusive and we could post it on other platforms, in most cases, this ends up earning us less money. So I would say to stick with exclusive. And then we're going to go pay for production. $50 per finished hour is usually where you want to be. You're going to have a three hour audiobook, so it'll cost you $150. And there'll be lots of narrators that'll be happy to work for that amount. And after that, all you're doing is hitting post title and you're going to wait for people to come along and narrate a sample and you're going to listen to them. They're all going to show up in your account and one by one, you can listen to each sample. And if you find one that you like, you can decide to work with that person and have them narrate your book. Usually depending on the person, it's going to take a week or two sometimes longer depending on how complex your book is or what you agree to. It just depends on the narrator's schedule. After your book goes live on Audible, you can get a few reviews for it, but for the most part, you're done. It's gonna be on their marketplace forever and you're gonna be getting sales maybe every day, every week, definitely every month for years to come. So you've created your first passive income source. Now, if you want these numbers to go up, all you have to do is create more audiobooks. So exact same process, rinse and repeat. If you've enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more, I do have a free four part self-publishing training, training course, which will teach you how to make your first $1,000 per month in passive income. And you can access that by clicking down below in the description or going to trevorsomerville.com. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.